It's the realist. Hey, it's your guy Realistic, and in this video here, I'm going to be showing you how shuffle mode works in Pro Tools. But first, before we get into that, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you can see videos just like this pop up in your feed. Also, if you do find this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button because believe it or not, it does actually help the channel grow because if you like it, then it tells YouTube that other people may like it as well and show it to them as well. Okay, so let's dive into shuffle mode of Pro Tools here. This is something that I use quite a bit when it comes to arranging and composing. And so all it does is it's going to snap our clips over to the nearest end or start of another clip. So if we're in slip mode or grid mode, if I hit the delete button, we see that we just have all of this blank space, right? But if we're in shuffle mode and I hit the delete button, See how it snaps everything over? So in order to do that, all we got to do is we can either go up here uh, where we have shuffle, spot, slip, and grid mode, and we can select to shuffle. Or if we want a much quicker process, all we got to do is on our keyboard hit option one, and that brings us to shuffle mode. Option four will bring us back to grid mode. And then you got option three for spot mode and option two for slip mode. But we're going to be hanging out in shuffle mode here. So option one brings us to shuffle mode. So not only if we delete, will it snap us to the closest start or beginning, but another thing too that's really cool about this is let's say for instance, we've decided that our intro right now is eight bars and we want that cut in half but if we shave off four bars it just snaps everything to be exactly where it needs to be and lined up and we don't have to worry about moving all these individual pieces <music> The other thing that I really like for slip mode is, for instance, we have the chorus over here, but let's say that we've now decided that we want the chorus to start out with the beginning. Watch this. If I move all of this over, it just moves the chorus right where it needs to be in the beginning and then just moves the, the verse over to the right. And so we got all of that lined up. <laughs> So slip mode is very handy for arranging and composing and it's something that I think you should at least know how it works or what it's used for and what the quick command is. So hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this tutorial. If you found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe because it does help the channel grow. When you like a video, it tells YouTube that you liked it and maybe other people will like it as well. And also be sure to check out my online mixing and mastering courses, the art of beat mixing, the art of vocal mixing, and the art of mastering all available now. And if this video was helpful and you're looking for other videos, you can watch a video here, here, and here. All right, until next time, y'all.